I'm Jillian from Birthmark and I'm going to show you how to bath the baby. Today we have little Faith, our very first Birthmark baby, who is going to be helping us. Right? <laughs> yes. And so how we start is we want to make sure we have everything laid out. So I like to always go onto a surface that's close to a sink that is about at my waist. So it's not a big place to pick up your baby and bring them to you when they're slippery and wet. So I usually start out with a table or a counter, anywhere where you can be at like waist height. I lay out my soaps and my oils and my creams that I use, my favorite ones. Um, I lay out a towel and, and a flannel blanket. So the extra flannel blanket is actually for um, to keep the baby's heat and temperature normalized during their bath. So I'm going to wrap Faith in the blanket before I put her in the bath. So we're going to wrap Faith in the blanket just like a light swaddle. And this will help retain the heat while she's in the bath. Okay, shh. 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 shh, shh, calm her down before we get her in. All right, so I'm going to put her, this bath has a nice slope in it. I like those slopes because it's easier to make your child, especially when um, they are this small and they can't sit up on their own. Hi, she's like, who is giving me a bath today? So you can see she might be a little chilly right now. So I'm just gonna take some of the water and put it on her so it's regulating her temperature. Hello. Hi. Oh, what's wrong? It's nice in the bath. It's nice. <laughs> Talking and playing with your baby during bath time is really, really good. Creating the bond so they can see your face nice and close. So now you can see she's starting to calm down a bit because the water is nice and warm. Oh, fish. So when I, before I even put any soap on the cloth, I'm going to um, just keep the water. And we're going to start with her eyes. Um, you're going to take your cloth and you're going to start from the inside and wipe out and then change the cloth over with a little bit of water. And again, inside and out. And that's all you're gonna do to clean her eyes. Still without any soap, you're gonna just like give her a nice little wipe down around her face. Hi. <gasps> Keeping the blanket on her to make sure that the, her temperature is regulated. And you can do this from birth to on. Making sure she's got the face all clean. Right? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. 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 So now I'm going to grab my soap, always keeping my hand on the baby if I'm moving away from the tub. And you can put a little bit of soap. I like to use my hands for this. Um, it's just easier to get in those crevices. Hi. Hi. And just rub it in my hands and get in underneath the chin. Yep. Making sure you're getting in the armpits, behind the ears, because milk can drip down there and we don't even realize it. Yes, are you loving the bath? Is that nice? I'm giving her a little bit of a massage, her belly. Then I'm going to take the blanket, I'm going to pull it back up on her, and I'm going to take the cloth, and I'm just going to use it to start rinsing. I'm just getting it wet, lifting her chin a little bit, making sure we're getting all that soap out. Right? Is that good in there? Yes, are you liking it now? Is it okay now? And just taking the blanket away the spots for washing and putting it back just to keep again that temperature regulated and they enjoy it a little bit more this should be a nice relaxing time for your baby thank you thank you 
Yes, now we're gonna do your legs. So we're starting from the top and working our way down. We're gonna keep the, the, the bottom parts um, for last. So I always like to go and check the toes. Again, maybe just putting a drop more soft soap in your hands. That's way too much. Legs and toes. Hello. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, how do I wash my baby's back? Well, your baby's sitting in warm water. We, as adults, most of the time don't scrub our backs, so it will get clean um, with just sitting in the water. Okay, and then I'm just, you know, after I'm all done, I'm just doing a little check, checking the bum, always front to back, and then covering right back up. So as you can see, she's nice and calm. Keeping the blanket on is a really great way to make sure that your baby is calm during their bath time. Sometimes they're so calm in the first few days when you give your first bath that you might have to change out the water because it's a good time for them to let everything go. <laughs> so they may pee or poo in the bath. So the last thing I always do is hair. And again, I will hold the cloth so the water doesn't pour on the face, just using it instead of a cup um, to get everything wet. Hi! Because it, washing the hair last is important um, because it's gonna keep them cooler. So I always like to do that at the very end to make sure that the baby, again, stays warm because that's really what's gonna make them upset. It's not the actual ritual of the bath, but the uh, being cold. Starting out giving them a positive bath experience um, will help you down the line. All right, so we are all done. Now, if you want, you can sit there and relax and play with your baby. It's a good level for you to get nice and close and have conversation because after this, they may be very tired. Yeah. Yeah, so relaxed. Okay, so this is the part where a lot of families get nervous. So it is so great that we have everything set up right beside the bath. We're not picking a baby up from the bath um, on the floor and then standing up and moving into a towel. So having it set up on this space is where this is key. So we wanna keep baby nice and warm. And she's probably not gonna like this too much because she's enjoying her bath so much. Making sure you're holding underneath like this and then wrapping baby up nice and quickly. And there we go. We have one little clean face. Uh, right after the bath, you want to make sure that you're drying it in all the crevices. So this is where you can start with the hair, just using a piece of towel. Getting behind the ears, making sure you get it behind the ears in the crevice of the chin and the neck, because these places have to be dry, and sometimes we don't realize when the water sits in there, it can cause some irritation. Again, with the folds of the legs and the toes. So this is a good place that you can actually do a little bit of massage. What she realizes, 